There it is. Okay. Great. So again, um, welcome to mobility and flexibility slash strength and conditioning today. So like I said, um, I was saying yesterday, today's class is going to be a combination of Tuesdays and Wednesdays class just to make sure that we do get some strength and conditioning. Um, because strength and conditioning class, that's typically where we work in our upper body. So we'll focus on that. Tomorrow with cardio and core, we will be doing some lower body stuff. So maybe by like today's class, we could focus more on upper body and then some mobility and flexibility um, stuff for that. So with that being said, let's start with the light warm up. So again, we'll start with some neck rotations here. Hopefully we have more folks coming in. Help out the windows a little bit, some more light in here. Nice, gloomy, and then by the time it passes out the switch, it's it's warm and hot. So we'll save the core aspect of the class for tomorrow, since we are doing core and cardio tomorrow. Let's sit left to right. Up and down. Okay. This is some large circles. Reverse. Single arm windmills. Let's get that full rotation. We'll do some more shoulder work later in this class. Reverse. Switch. Let's reverse. Very good. So now let's go arms up and slightly start training left to right. All right, very good. And yeah, go with half circles. Okay, so wide stance. And yeah, just cap a little bit. <laughs> wide stance. And we're gonna break left, cut across, come right and come back. Right, let's go with some wide hula hoops, so wide stance and big hip circles. Uh -huh. 
and switch directions. Spoilers did can yawn. All right, very good. All right, we're just gonna do some marching high knees. It's very light. Let's continue that. I'm gonna check the chat real quick. Hey, Karina, good morning. That's fine. All right, very good. All right, let's find a pose to counter. Let's do some leg swings. So, got my counter here. Just gonna swing back and forth lightly, not too aggressively. Good, all right, let's switch. Six sides. All right, good. Now let's face your counter and swing across her body. Switch. All right, very good. All right, quad stretch. And yeah, we're still covering a lot of the mobility and flexibility components here. So again, try to grab a hold of just above your ankle. Pull back. That's it. On that balance as well. Hamstring stretch, so slide that at the knees, and we're going to bring our hands down our shins. Make sure we're breathing. All right, keep breathing, going over. Bring those knees back. Your 
breathe in, bring that face closer to your knees. And relax your knees and slowly rise back up. All right, last one before we start our workout, deep squat stretch. So just squat down, try to bring your hips below your knees. Just hang out here. Chest up. Separate your knees with your elbows. Let's get off our heels on our toes. Stretch that inner groin a little bit more. All right, drop those heels and use your pants to rise back up. All right, great. All right, very good. So if you guys can, grab your resistance bands or dumbbells. We can use those items right now. So go ahead and grab those items for me. All right. Okay. So usually with our strength and conditioning, we'll go with shoulders, back, chest, arms, core. We're gonna skip core for today. Um, some hip flexor work, hamstrings, quads, and then some calves. Okay. So let's go ahead and if you have your dumbbells, um, if you have anything between four to eight pounds, this one could work. This is gonna be the shoulder complex. So again, I have my five pound dumbbell here. So we just need one. So we're just gonna go up and down for 15 seconds. Okay, so just up and down. If you don't have a dumbbell, maybe a water gallon. And right, now we're gonna do figure eights. Okay, and try to not move your torso. It should all be shoulders and arms. Well, I should start getting a little bit tired. Now we're gonna do steering wheels. It's like you're driving a bus crazy around the block. Again, we're doing each of these for 15 seconds. Now rows, so ins and outs. Right now, presses up and down. Shoulders should be burning by now. All right, put those down, that's those shoulders. Shoulders should be a little bit shot from that, okay? All right, next we're gonna do is gonna be some rows, okay? So rows, if you guys have a heavier dumbbell, um, grab your heavier dumbbell for that. One in a chair. So for rows. I'm gonna use the chair as just for support. We're not gonna sit on it. So I'll just have my hand on it. Weight comes down. 
And I'm just bringing the weight back up. So elbow comes down and up, down and up. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 to 12 of these. Your back is straight. Once you've done 10 to 12 of them, you can switch sides, switch arms. And same function with the other side. All right, once you've done 10 to 12, relax. Next, we're going to do for our arms, it's going to be a concentrated curl. Okay, make sure you get some water, have your water nearby. Okay, so what we're gonna do is allow, so we're gonna have the weight, allow the arm to kind of overhang within the inner thigh. And this arm is just resting on the inner thigh, okay? So it's there, so it's not swinging around. So all we wanna do is just bring that dumbbell up and then back down, up, back down, okay? So you should feel that curl, so. Again, I don't want you guys to just stop here. Make sure you go all the way down, all the way up, okay? So depending on your weight, if it's really heavy, give me five to six of them. If it's comfortable, give me 10 to 12, okay? All right, so here we go. So one, make sure you control it, two, three, four, Seven, eight, nine, ten. I switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up, and all the way down. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. Very good. All right, let's put that dumbbell down. Okay. And do chest compressions without any weights. So we just need our hands. Have our hands here, and we're going to press our hands together forcefully. We should feel compression in our inner chest and relax. So we're going to press really toughly and really um, with a lot of pressure for about three to five seconds. And right, again. 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 Continue. About a second break in between each one. Then let's do three more. Two more. Last one. All right, very good. Awesome. All right, so this next one we're gonna do, it's gonna be for our thighs. So for this one, we can set up our yoga mat. So let's go ahead and do that. We did our back, our shoulders, our arms. Another max ready. All right. Yeah. 
So for this one, we're going to do James Bonda's. Just remember that one. So I'm going to work on some adductor stuff. So we're going to be on our side. And again, we're doing 15 of these. So raising that leg up slowly and before it breaks, comes all the way down. I'm going to raise it again. So 15 of these on each leg. Again, 15. Very good. Let's go there. Let's do sides. This one's less mobile for me. A little sore. Right, we're going to face down. Okay, and this one, what we're going to do is while we're facing down, we want to raise our heel towards the ceiling. Okay, so we want to do that by lifting at the hip joint, not by bending the knee, and then back down. Back down. So again, you can do this by, you don't want to do this here. Okay, you're going to lift from the hip. We're doing eight on each side. With about a two to three second hold. All right, let's switch. Once you're ready, there you go. Right. Okay. Very good. All right. Next thing we're going to do is just going to be um, calf raises. Okay. So from here, our heel raises, we're just going to be standing and we're just going to be bringing our heels up and down. Okay. We're going to do about 30 seconds of these. Just heels up and down. That'll be our first step. Like I said, we're doing two sets. A strength and conditioning, and then we'll go on to mobility and flexibility. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, quick little break. Get used to restroom or grab some water. Go ahead.
All right. Okay. And go with the next big shoulder movement, which is going to be shoulder press. Okay, so you guys want to grab your weights again. I'm going to do this one from the side so you guys could see the angle that you don't want to have the dumbbells at. Okay. So again, for this one, seated. So again, you see that my elbows are a little bit in front of my chest. They're not behind or next to them. So we don't want to be back here. We want to be slightly forward, okay? So I'm going to press up and down, up and down. What we can actually do to save some time, let's do this. Let's do the Arnold press, which we've done before. So Arnold press, we go curl, rotate, press down, rotate, and down again. You guys remember that? So get that motion down. So up, rotate, press, down, rotate, down. Up, rotate, press, down, rotate, down. All right, so let's do about eight to 10 of these. Have about three more. I only have five pound weights and I feel my shoulders burning already. That shoulder complex we, we did earlier definitely did it. All right, last one here. All right, so we did two and one. Okay, so we did our, now I do want to work out our triceps. So we are going to do that. So for our triceps, we're going to do tricep kickbacks. Okay, so I'm grabbing a little bit heavier weight and I'm gonna be resting on the chair in this position, or you could just be here if you like, but I like to just be rested. So I'm just focused on my arms and then elbow back and you just extend at the elbow, okay? So that elbow stays back and you're just extending. Try to keep your head down. Make sure that shoulder doesn't rotate. The only movement should be happening at the elbow. Okay, once you've got 10 to 12, you can switch sides. And begin. So elbow here. Good. Good job, baby. Good. All right. Awesome. Okay. We're going to go down to the floor. Okay. So next one, we're going to do a fly, chest fly, dumbbell flies. Okay. For this one, you can always do a press, but when we're so close to the ground, uh, a fly could be a little bit more beneficial. So again, the fly, it's going to be this motion here. Okay. So remember, this is a press. Like if you're pressing something, pushing away, and the fly is if you're a bird and you're flapping your wings. Okay. So grab your dumbbells. We're going to start in this fly position and start flying. So going wide. And you're bringing those dumbbells in front of you. If you want to squeeze your chest, back down, fly, squeeze, back down.
about two more. And bring them down. We're gonna do another chest bone. Like I said, we don't do a lot of chest. So the next one we're gonna do is gonna be a close grip press. So for this one, like again, this is a regular press, put the elbows out here. Now we're gonna do a close grip, so a hammer. So keeping the dumbbells close to our body, we're just gonna press in this manner with the dumbbells. Okay, but we're gonna be laying on the floor when we do this. Okay, so we're doing this pretty much breaking our triceps a little bit more. Okay, so again, give me, if you have heavy weights, five to six. If you have lighter, give me maybe 10 to 12. Ready? Okay, go. You just bring those elbows straight down, straight up, straight down. All right, very good. Woo. All right. Okay, the triceps. Now we're going to go ahead and work on some hip stuff. So, for this one, get down on our side and we're going to do clamshells. If you guys have resistance bands that you could put around your legs, this would be a good one to do that for. So, again, on our side. So, we go again from that long position, tucking those knees. And your feet are making contact, your knees are making contact, and then your hip is over your other hip. And we're just going to separate at the knees and close, separate, and try to separate as much as you can as well. And 12 to 15 of these. All right, let's go ahead and switch. Here, three. All right, very good. Okay, next we're gonna do is going to be a close down squat. So move that yoga mat. So grab your dumbbells. All right, so again, close down. So feet are close together. Okay, and we're just gonna bring the weights down and back up. Okay, so from the side, it looks like this. So you see how my chest, try to keep it upwards. I'm not trying to bend forward. So here, down. And by keeping our legs together, we're working on our quads, which is the front part of our thighs.
So that's the close dance squat. So now we're gonna do just like the hamstring stretch. Might have done these yesterday. We're just gonna reach down with our dumbbells and then back up. So this is the Russian deadlift. Back up, so you should feel that nice stretch on your hamstrings. And twelve. Okay. Right. We put those dumbbells away. We're gonna start with the mobility and flexibility portion of the class now. So go ahead and grab a chair. You're gonna go with the chair exercises or movements first. And if you can, grab a, a golf ball as well. All right, let's use that restroom. We need to, we're good. Okay, all right, so I didn't do too much. Let's see. If you guys want to go through the facial stretches or exercises, give me a thumbs up. If you don't care much for them right now, um, then just don't do anything. So. Debbie, I'm gonna go. Okay, Debbie, it's all right. So, all right. T Terry says, yeah. Terry is like, yeah, I want to work on on my beautiful face. All right, I see people with. All right, I guess we're doing on. Sorry, Debbie. All right, everyone's safe. <laughs> all right. So, Debbie's like, I'm pretty enough. I don't need any any work. <laughs> okay, so remember for this one, make sure I get some light. So for this one, what we're gonna do, okay, I see a lot of, all right, all right, I guess people like those. Well, I'm glad. No, because I think we, I thought I was looking silly like a little blowfish in front of the screen. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just inflate our cheeks. So, hey, Tila's dog wants to join in too. So, all right, so let's go ahead and inflate our cheeks, get some air in our cheeks, like go hamster. I just kind of massage, okay, pup. So again, just a lot of air, just kind of massage. Okay, some blood flow to our cheeks. I wish I had more facial stretches <laughs> for you guys. I'm gonna look up some more. All right, very good. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing and then draw lines from our earlobes to the end of our lips. All right now from the end of our eyes to our end of our lips. This is like the sarcastic movement that people do. They're like, oh, are you crying? All right, very good. And then we just kind of want to massage around our lips. The muscle around our lips is circular. So unless we're talking a lot, 
if you're a very shy person, those muscles might be really weak um, if you're not talking much. But if you're very talkative, you might have strong muscles around your lips. It just looks like I'm cleaning my mustache right now. Okay. All right. So not too many. Oh, and the last one is um, inhaling for about three seconds and exhaling through a small little hole between your lips uh, for about five to eight seconds. Okay. So. So that core tightening. Do two more. Last one. All right, let's do one more. Really try to let out all that air in our lungs, but please don't pass out, okay? Make sure you have some get dizzy and pass out. <laughs> so yeah, you should be feel really gassed out. If you want a very exaggerated before and after picture, try to take your after picture after you do that. That's when you have no air in our in our tummy. So all right, now we're just gonna go ahead. We did our next circles, we did our left to right. So now we're just gonna do go ahead and so we're gonna put our palm underneath our thigh, and then with our right hand, we're gonna reach over to our left side. And let that weight of our arm stretch our left shoulder, our left neck. We want to put that hand there so it's, that shoulder's fixed and we're not leaning over too much. Okay, that's good. Okay, make sure you sit on that. And we're going to grab the back side. And we're just going to drop our chin forward. Relax. Very good. So the next movement we're going to do is going to be the neck retractions. Okay. So mm -hmm. that one is where we're acting like turtles. So shoulders are back, and we're going to bring our head forward and our head back. Forward. Back. Try to focus more on moving your neck forward than. Because I see some people sometimes doing this with their shoulders. Um, so you want to focus more that neck, back, forward. Oh, I missed one. Okay. I forgot. So the one for our throat. Okay. Debbie, how'd you let me forget? So. This one, we're gonna look down. We're gonna have our, our mouth open. And then we're gonna start looking up with our mouth open. And once we look the furthest up, that's when we shut our mouth and you should feel a nice stretch along your throat. Okay, so something like this. 
thing. Really try to pull by your chin to your nose so you can really feel it more here. I know that's hard and strange to kind of visualize, but if you think about it, um, you'll stretch it a little bit more. more good right awesome yeah we're gonna go ahead and come down to our legs a little bit so we're just gonna go and grab a hold of our knee kind of hug it in front of us And then we're going to hold between our calf and our thigh, and we're just going to let that leg expand. So opening up the hamstring. Hopefully they're still popping. Switch. And hold it for a second. All right, let's get that hand on the knee. Then you can just work on that mobility and hamstring flexibility. All right, very good. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do the performance stretch. One of my favorite stretches. So right leg comes over that left knee, almost like if we're sitting fancy, but now we're gonna lean over towards that right knee. Okay. To feel that stretch on the knee. Right, now we're going to hug it out and bring that knee towards our chest. That same position. Let's just fill it a little bit higher. Flex, flex, and lean towards it. Let's bring that knee towards our chest. And that, that left foot should be right next to that right knee.
Hold it another 10 seconds. Keep holding it. All right, relax. Okay, from here we're just gonna do the hip openers. We did them standing earlier, but when we're standing, we also lose a little bit of our energy and focus on working on the balance. So here we're gonna do them sitting. So we're just gonna work out and out. And so try to hold it for about a second or two. This one, calf stuff, ankle mobility, some arch work, and then we'll get to our shoulders. No, shoulders, this one that feels funky. Three more. Two. One. All right, good. Okay, awesome. Okay, for this one, next one we're gonna do is just some leg raises. So leg comes down straight, and we're just lifting it up and down. You should feel. You put your Hands right by your hips, so then really acting up, firming up. Slit, so legs straight. The hamstrings are acting up too. We get tired. All right, from here, we're gonna do is just some heel raises. And again, and it's mainly for mobility and just getting those active. The ones we did earlier standing up for a little bit more demanding. And now we're gonna do the anterior tibialis stretch. So this one, Heel stay flat, and then we raise our toes up towards the sky. You can really feel those chin muscles activating. Very good, all right? We're gonna do one ankle at a time so we can focus. So I like putting my hands underneath my thighs so I can elevate my hands, my feet slightly. And we're just gonna do the letters of the alphabet, okay? So just do the shapes of the ABCs. Once you've done that, let's get to the left leg.
Alright, awesome. Alright, if you have a type of ball, um, go ahead and grab that. A tennis ball, I have a golf ball. I like how firm that one is. So, grab a small island that you can roll back and forth. On golf ball, I can put a potato before. Um, I could use any round object. Small water bottle could work too. So we're just gonna find that small object, put it on the floor, and we're gonna press down with our arches. So if you're ever walking by a golf course and you see a little golf ball around there, just grab it, take it home with you, clean it. And yeah, you can use this a lot to strengthen and heal your arches. So, especially if you go hiking a lot, if you have a lot of nights out and you're wearing high heel shoes, um, you walk around barefoot a lot. So, walking around barefoot at the beach too, if you if you could handle that, that's always you know pretty good for the feet as well. Let's just roll it back and forth. Again, I've seen objects, trigger point balls that are $20, but sometimes these golf balls that you could find walking around do the trick. All right, once you find a tender spot, just kind of focus on that spot and push down on it for about five to 10 seconds. Make sure it's not painful, but you want to just get up. Let's move it around a little bit. Slightly. Continue to push down. And just kind of roll out again, just to let it work. Try the switch. Okay, so other foot, just kind of warm it up. Back and forth. Find that tender spot. Move it around a little bit. Look for another spot that's a little tender. All right, go ahead, push down. And relax. All right, if you have a small rag around, go ahead and grab that, or if you have your socks, you can grab that too. So. I just have my socks here. And all we're gonna do is just grab, drop, spread out, grab, drop, spread out. So let's just do about six of these each foot. And really try to grip that sock as much as you can with all your toes. And the switch. It's like some of my favorite socks, and I can see around the, the the band part that they're loosening up, so I have to retire these soon. All right, very good. Okay. Now, just kind of resting our feet on the floor, but what you want to do is just kind of try to grip the floor with our toes. So 
Sometimes when we have claws, and we're just trying to claw into the floor. Maybe you could hear. We're going to do one for our back. <laughs> we're just sitting here. This is one where I ask you guys to imagine that you're a cat and there's a scratching point in front of you. We're pretty much just extending our arms and reaching all the way down and back up. Down reach. We're doing about 10 of these. Really try to keep your glutes on the chair, but try to really stretch out your back. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. We're going to put the chair away. We're going to finish off with some shoulder work. Okay. So now we've always like to do some shoulder work. So we're going to do that now. So if you could grab a broomstick, a fishing rod, an umbrella, some type of pole. I always use my foam roller for this one. So go ahead and grab that. I'm going to go grab my foam roller. All right. All right. There we are. Okay. So we're just going to go left to right. Just gently, softly. That's getting warm now. I was grabbing a drink of water about 10 minutes ago, and I was like, oh, this reminds me of Oregon weather. And now it's like, oh, no, we're in Southern California. All right, so we're going to focus on the right shoulder first. Okay, so bringing that shoulder high. Continue doing that. I'm going to check the chap real quick. Let's continue doing that. Keep elevating that shoulder. All right, just keep listening to All right, now we're going to go 30 degrees forward with that same shoulder. All right, 60 degrees forward. Off of the shoulder. All right, 90 degrees forward, right in front of us. Remember, the class tomorrow is the one that most likely will be sweating a little bit more than this one.
All right. And then now we're going to go back. So that right shoulder now is going back. And right, now we're going to go on that left shoulder. Left shoulder goes up now. Thirty degrees. At six degrees, popping sensation. Ninety degrees. You're doing the nineties. I'll check the chat. Okay, Terry, I appreciate it. Thank you for the heads up. All right now, we're going to reverse. Bring that elbow back. All right, very good. Okay, now we're gonna go side to side. So remember this one, our trunk is facing forward, okay? It's just our shoulders moving. Okay, we're gonna go back. And we're just going back side to side. And then now we're going up and down. It's a nice stretch for the back as well. All right, and then. Okay, and the last one we're going to do is going to be. Here and we're raising it up behind us. Okay. Okay. Good. Too much. Great. So I like that. You know, well, I mean, we combined two classes, but I think we did the most of it. We got most of the the movements that we wanted to. Hey, is that treadmill new, Debbie? What's it? Oh, uh, your treadmill, is that new? Oh no, I'm I was just rearranging things.